Hey and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review for an Arda lace front wig. Um, it's for cosplay and so spending $98 on a wig was kind of a big investment. So I wanted to search around online to see if I could find a review for the wig before I bought it. And I couldn't, I came up empty. I couldn't find a, a good review. So I thought I would make this video in case somebody else was also looking for this wig. And you might because I think that this is going to be a great wig for Brie Larson's Captain Marvel cosplay. So, um, yeah. So I looked and looked and I found this wig. It is a Renee style. It is in the color Dark Ash Blonde. Um, Arda has really great pictures for all of their wigs, except for some reason for this color in this style, it was just sort of a picture of it plopped on one of these foam stands and it wasn't fitting that well. So it really wasn't flattering for the product. So I was kind of unsure. I was like, you know, this looks bad, but all the other pictures of Renee looked amazing. So I figured, okay, um, I think it was just that one picture that made it look bad. Okay, so we've got the wig here. All right, so Arda wigs always come in a Ziploc bag just like this in a soft pack. Oh, and if you hear rumbling in the background, it's because it's 20 degrees outside. No, it's 20 below outside. And so the furnace is gonna be on constantly because it's cold. Okay, so Arda wigs come in a soft pack and then inside the soft pack is going to be a plastic bag with a label on it to make sure you have the correct color and style. The wig comes in a net to keep the fibers smooth and protected. Always hang on to this net. Never throw this net away. You can always use this to store your wigs if you don't want to store them on a wig stand if you have too many. Um, or if you've styled it, you can put this over the style and the wig stand to kind of keep all your hairs in place, but those are great. Okay, here she is. Um, I go for dark ash blonde a lot of the time when I'm looking for a blonde because it is natural looking. And so then when I put it next to my skin, I don't look like a cartoon character. Even when I'm cosplaying cartoon characters, like Disney princesses, I still go for natural hair colors just because I feel like they're more flattering. Okay, inside the wig is gonna be some tissue stuffing. Now I'm really gonna to have to talk over the furnace. <laughs> I might just wait until that furnace is turned off. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so there she is. She is full, like extremely full. Um, they've just revamped this style, so it is a little bit pricier than it was um, previously. Um, I think that the restyle has to do with more hair but also I think they're mixing in a combination so that there are soft strands and coarse strands. The coarse strands are for styling and then the soft strands are for a more natural look. Don't quote me on that. I am not 100% sure. I think I just saw that online somewhere. I should probably look that up. Okay, but there she is. So she is um, very straight out of the bag. She doesn't have any curl, which is fine. We're gonna style her. Um, and the Brie Larson Captain Marvel doesn't really have curls. They're more like beachy waves. So, so we are going to have to do that on our own anyway. So here's the lace in the front. The hairline is extremely natural. It's got a little bit of a peak. It's not an intense peak like Susie. I'm going to throw this on my wig stand so you can see her better. Okay, I think one of the improvements that they've been making in their lace fronts, oh no, oh that's hopeless, ah. <laughs> don't get your T-pin stuck in your hairnet. One of the improvements I think they've been making with the lace fronts is the hairline super natural. It's a little bit boxier instead of, you know, purely round. So it's got a little bit of a peak here. If you think that that's too much of a peak, you can always pluck that out. Um, and then there's some sideburns going on here that should be deep enough to cover your natural sideburns. But the reason that I picked this up for the Brie Larson Captain Marvel cosplay is because her, 
she doesn't have like firm bangs. There's no hard part in her bangs. And so it's almost like tossed, you know, here's the part or tossed over here. And I think that, yeah. So you can totally do that. Yeah. That's gonna work. So we're probably gonna put some steam heat in this. What? Yeah. That's just gonna lay really naturally. Okay, I didn't show the inside before I put it on here. Oops. I'm pretty sure they have pictures of the inside on the website, but just to answer all your questions, there is a really deep bit of lace in here. I don't know if you can see this. Ooh. So that's all lace front there. So you have you can go back quite a ways with that part before you're gonna hit cap. Which is really nice. Ooh, I've very much tangled her. So it's not a great idea to put the wig on your head. As tempting as it is when you get it out of the bag, you're like, I must put this on my head right now. Um, on the website, they recommend not to do that because you could, you could stress the lacing, and then when you do remove the excess lacing, you might have compromised your lacing that you want to keep, and that lacing is extremely important to us. What, like I'm looking at this, I was thinking I was going to have to razor in some layers into the front of her face to frame her face out, but it looks like they, like, there are already layers in this that are the exact right length that I would have, I mean, maybe a little bit, well, no. I mean, that's exactly what I would have cut in there. So I think I have to do almost nothing. This is almost an out of the bag Captain Marvel wig, actually. Um, like I said, I'm gonna put some beachy waves in there, but okay, this is the scary part. Look away for the faint of heart. We gotta cut that lace off. Okay, so if you cut too much, then you're going to compromise the integrity of your lace front. But if you don't cut enough, then you're going to be able to see where the lace is when you're wearing the wig. So you got to hit that sweet spot. Um, oh, there's a ton of tutorials on how to cut off the lace from a lace form wig, so you don't need me for that. So we're just going to fast forward through this or like jump cut or whatever. Um, I did find that you don't want to follow the hairline exactly when you're cutting the lace. In my experience, because this isn't a very straight curve, it's kind of zigzaggy. So you don't want to get all zigzaggy around that hairline too much because if you give yourself like a 90 degree angle or a cut like that, um, uh, one time I was making a Elsa wig and there was a bit of a part uh, because of that curl that comes over and I was like, I'll oh, cut right into that part. So that way it's really realistic for a hairline and all that did was compromise the lace and then it just started to rip in that spot that I cut too close and it just rip, rip, ripped and it was a, kind of a nightmare. So don't do that. Don't get clever and try to cut parts into these. I don't, unless there's, I don't know, some wild thing that I missed. Okay, so you can throw this out. There's no reason to keep this. I'm also noticing, bet like from, from the last time I ordered a lace front from Arda, the lace was kind of rigid and not very flexible, but this like is super soft. So I wonder if that's gonna make the whole hairline lay a lot nicer. I don't know, we will find out. Okay, so we've got Renee back on the wig stand here. And now that I'm brushing her out, I can clearly see that piece I was talking about before. Let's see. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a chunk here that's a good two inches longer than the rest of the wig. Oh. Hi, Bowser. So I'm just gonna cut that off. Easy peasy. Oh, I kind of did some investigating here. I think it's coming out of, I don't know, it's hard to say. I thought it was coming out of the lace, but now I'm not so sure. 
I don't know, but it's weird, so we're gonna cut it off. It's like this. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's nothing crazy. It just was bugging me. All right. That's better. That's better. Okay. So yeah, we want to put some beachy waves into this. Before we can put some beachy waves in, we're going to need to put curls in and then we'll pull the curls out to make waves. We're going to section off some chunks of hair. This is synthetic hair. It is not real hair. It does not behave like real hair. It does take extreme temperatures, but I wouldn't recommend hitting this with a curling iron. Like, I've never tried it, but the thought of that kind of ekes me out. So instead, what I'm going to use is my steamer. I got this guy off Amazon. I think he's slowly dying because he's not nearly as hot as he was when I first got him. I'm sure there's better steamers out there, but this one was cheap. So that's why I have it. All right, so I'm just gonna section off a chunk of hair. I'm gonna roll that chunk of hair up into my fingers. So I'm just gonna make a pin curl here. We're gonna roll, roll, roll. All the way up, and then we're gonna pin it. And then we're gonna hit that curl with the steamer. So what we're doing is we're adding heat and that's gonna melt the fibers. Um, this has to cool in this shape. If I took this out right away, it would gravity would pull that curl back out. So that needs to sit right like that until I run out of hairpins. Okay, so that's gonna have to cool. And then we'll take the pins out and see how we did. Uh, in the meantime, I gotta go take my dogs outside. So we'll be right back. <sighs> okay, so we're back inside from our adventure. So we're gonna pull these off. And they're not gonna hold a firm curl or I would have had to make tighter curls but we're not looking for ringlets we're looking for just beachy waves Ooh, maybe those still need to cool a bit Okay, yeah. There we go. So that just gives a little bit more movement and volume. I kind of want to pull a brush through this. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay. So mostly we're getting some nice bouncy waves in the front here. Um, it's still pretty straight in the back, which is totally fine. So I, there's a few here that are not, they're not playing along, but that's okay. We can go in there and fix those. Actually, I might just cut that off. Where's that go to? Yeah, we'll put a layer in. There. That makes more sense to me than having that, trying to figure out what to do with that long piece. Oh, okay. So the trouble is going to be these bangs need volume. So 
So we're going to have to figure out where we're going to put a part. And I'm going to say that to me feels more natural. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and steam this part here. Okay. So that way the hair will naturally want to sit there. But now I need this to have some height to it. I don't want a back comb, but we might have to do that. I might be able to get it just with the steam, but I don't know. I'm not completely sure what I'm going to end up doing here. Um, I could add a little back combing at the base to give that a little bit more lift, but honestly, I think it's a little natural, so I might just leave it as is. But this is going to be the wig for my Brie Larson style Captain Marvel cosplay. I did just receive uh, the pro cosplay suit in the mail, so we'll do another video for that one as well. But my final thoughts for this Arda lace front is that uh, it's perfect. Um, I, yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, if this is the cosplay that you're doing, I would say go out and get this wig. I, in the comments, if you found something better, let me know, but. This is pretty much checking all of our boxes that we're going to need for this. I do, I think the sideburns are, sideburns are a little wide, or not wide, they come up a little bit far on my cheeks. So I might cut them back a little bit, but I'm not sure. I'll probably make those decisions at the last minute while stressing. Okay, so hopefully you found this helpful. And now my dog is decided that he wants picked up and put on the bed in the other room. So he's going to bark and have a fit about it. I don't know if you can hear him in the background, but that is a good time for me to sign off and say that we're finished here. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching and probably won't do another wig review. Like I said, I just need to do this one because there wasn't one already, but. I hope if you found this, if you were looking for this, I hope you found it helpful. All right, bye. Dude. What? What you barking about? What? We literally just went outside. Hi. What? Ugh, oh, okay.